This creamy chicken and spinach is so good and it only has three ingredients and it includes the world's easiest cream sauce. Two chicken thigh fillets spread on a baking tray, a bit of salt, I haven't bothered to trim the fat, and then a pack of frozen spinach, pop it in a hot oven. So for the world's easiest cream sauce, we've got a couple of tablespoons of thick double cream, big pinch of salt, lots of pepper, stir. When the chicken is cooked, just put your spinach on your serving plate with the chicken and dollop over your sauce. I hope this has inspired you to get into the kitchen. Before we go, I better introduce myself. So my name's Jules Clancy. I used to be a food scientist, but now I'm an extremely simple cooking coach and I help food lovers simplify and enjoy cooking with three ingredient, three plus ingredient recipes that make cooking feel so easy. It's as if healthy meals appear on the table as if by magic. The other thing that makes my recipes unique is that I always include a list of variations. So if you want to adjust to suit your dietary requirements or you're missing a particular ingredient, you could do so. In terms of the creamy chicken and spinach, if you wanted to make a vegetarian version, highly recommend using some canned chickpeas instead of the chicken, or you could go with tofu or some lentils actually would be re really good. There's creamy spinach with poached eggs or fried eggs, that would work really well. Or if you're a carnivore, any cooked protein is going to work here. Actually, steak with the creamy spinach is really good or even sausages or meatballs. So heaps of options there for protein. And then in terms of different vegetables, like cream and the spinach together is incredible. But any frozen or fresh greens would work well here. Or you could go with some frozen veggie rice instead of the spinach. So it's going to have still have that lovely creaminess, but just like a bit of a different texture. Uh, broccoli actually would work really good with the cream. I think that greenness always goes well with cream. And then if you wanted to make it dairy free, so of course any dairy free cream is going to work. What I would recommend is making a batch of my macadamia ricotta, where you just puree up macadamias with, with water and a little bit of lemon juice. A recipe for that's on my blog, Stone Soup, so you can check that out. And the other option you could do if you wanted a dairy free option is to use dairy free pesto. You can either make your own or there's heaps of commercial dairy free pestos. Hope that's inspired you to get into the kitchen and make sure before you go that you subscribe to my channel so you get more incredibly simple healthy recipes in your feed. Okay, talk soon.